Hey, we're back. I am, I believe I'm done painting now. What happened? Uh, I didn't like those highlights. Let's see if I can just zoom in on here on these paints. There we go. The original highlight you see right there is the Ceram coat. That's the old parchment. It's kind of like the yellow creamy color. Well, I didn't like how that, that, that cartoony looked, so I took a color called Ginger Spice and kind of knocked back that highlight a little bit. Not too much, but just enough to, um, it's not so stark. And then I took that color sand, so it's like a colder, kind of almost a green gray. And I just went briefly and did a little bit of highlighting with it and a little detailing on some of the boards. I don't know if you can see, like, it looks like little windswept areas where it's just kind of like, you know, sand's been blowing dry and, and some of the rock has been, you know, um, erosion over the centuries or millennia. I think this adds a little bit more interest to the board and gives a little bit more detail. So now the next step will be, um, I'm going to hit all, everything with pledge, get it nice and protected. And then I'm probably going to start doing, um, I'll do a quick, um, acrylic flat mat on it. Then I'll start doing some flocking on it. Very sparse flocking. It's not going to be very much at all. We'll be in those plateau areas and probably get some tufts of grass around some of the rocks and things like that. Let me pull it back a little bit. Like the tufts of grass, you see these rock, rocky areas around some of the hills and stuff like that. Maybe do a couple tufts on the uh, spires. So uh, that'll be it for right now. I'll come back and uh, show you what this looks like. Um, I'm going to use a spray gun, not an airbrush. And I'll run that pledge through it and um, cover all the terrain pieces and this. I'm going to have to. Uh, spread them out around the workshop a little bit so I have uh, space to get in between the boards too because I want to protect those black um, border areas and so they don't chip too much and um, uh, that should be it we almost got a game board remodeled and ready to go back upstairs as usual thank you for joining me and we'll see you in the next video thanks hey we're back and you can see everything's got a nice shine to it I did about three coats of the um, what is that see that from here pledge floor care I don't it's all different names all over the world there's um, if you look it up online you can find out it's just basically a floor finish it's an acrylic clear so basically a gloss coat very inexpensive compared to using um, any of the big name brands or even you know stuff you buy at Michaels it's comparatively cheaper uh, the boards are looking great and then um, I used that spray gun from Harbor Freight on there. Got my old Sears compressor going. The Husky comes and goes. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm probably going to take it back. And then I did the smaller pieces with the Patriot 105. And it, it worked wonderful. I probably did a uh, cut per piece. So I got a nice uh, coat on them. Then ran another. Went through them once and went through them again. So they're going to be hopefully nicely protected. You can see that sheen on it right there. And then um, I'll be back one second. Hold on. And we're back, and this is, I can read that. This is what I'm going to try as a, the matte varnish. I got a big uh, gallon of it, and I think I paid like maybe 17, 20 bucks for this. So um, if I'm doing uh, a lot of terrain pieces and selling them, uh, cost is, you know, very uh, much a consideration. So uh, I'm going to try this out. Hopefully it works. I've never worked with this stuff. I'm usually, uh, you know, the biggest bottles I use are probably the big Liquitex bottles. We'll see how this works, and it seems like it might. So um, when we come back, we're going to throw this on and see how it works out. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we're back real quick on the board. Um, these I just hit, and it's not dry, quite dry yet. I'm not too sure. I'm thrilled with this. It's a little too shiny. Um, I put probably two coats over this, over on top of the... Um, Floor polish, and I don't think it's uh, knocking it back too much. It's better than it was, but there's some areas that are really shiny. I'm probably gonna have to get some anti shine um, from Army Painter or some Dull Coat and hit it with that. And that'll be another layer of protection, anyways. But I was kind of counting on this as being the uh, you know, two or three coats of the. Um, floor polish and then a coat of this just to dull it down and give it a little extra protection but looks like we're going to have to go one more um, step. If 
but I guess that's you know, too bad. I'll just use this stuff anyways. I can basically use it as a, a shine varnish. It's almost the same color. So I don't know. I'm going to let it dry for a couple hours before I start really uh, making any um, determination. And then a couple hours I come back, we'll start this video series up again, and we'll go from there. As usual, thank you for joining Hey everyone, I am back. I'm doing a test. Um, obviously, I did a couple coats of this JW Etc's Right Step. Uh, let me get that on camera real quick. You can read that here. Uh, JW Etc's Right Step Water Based Clear Varnish Matte. Uh, it is not matte, obviously. Um, that thing is glistening. Looks like it. Someone has licked it or something. So um, I'm going to do a couple tests real quick. Um, I love the matte varnish army stuff. But I love it. I'm not wasting it for some reason. So I went to uh, Walmart. Pick, oh, excuse me. Picked up some dull coat. A little under five bucks for this little three ounce can. And then I think these are under six dollars. This is the matte varnish. Not the crystal stuff. I think that's still too shiny. And this is 11 ounces. Um, eliminates glossy sheen. So let's do... Uh, as you see here on camera, right hand side. Oh, that worked. And we'll do the left hand side. And give that a second. I didn't hit it with enough. It didn't look like it changed at all. <laughs> it open my garage. It's getting a little loose. Let's try it again. There. And we'll add a little more on the other side. Well, I'll let it dry for a second, and we'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, we're back, and it doesn't look like any difference between the two, and it's still shiny to me. I brought up some of the Army Painter uh, Super Matte Varnish, and I'm going to hit this other little hill with it. And you can see all that glistening coming off of there. This is obviously is making it wet right now. I'm doing it eight inches away like you're supposed to. And it doesn't look like it's knocking the shine down either. A little bit. Let's even go over this section again with just this, this stuff. <laughs> get triple protection now. I think that takes it down more than the other two, but there's still more of a gloss that I want than I, than I want. I might have to just go to Liquitex. Uh, that stuff is tried and true to me. That really knocks back the shine off of anything. So uh, we'll be back in a little while. Uh, thank you for joining me as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. We are back real quick. Actually, I let it dry a little bit longer, and it's still got a little sheen to it, but not bad. It's a lot better than it was with that uh, bulk um, matte or acrylic matte varnish I used. And I don't know if it it should. Every time I use matte varnish on top of um, the Pledge Floral Wax, it always knocks it back. I, a lot of times I do use the Liquitex. Uh, matte varnish, which I it gives it that old look to it, which I really am used to. But this looks really good. Uh, the shine really came down off of that, and also you got you know really bright um, fluorescent lights. Um, I might, but a lot of it's got knocked back. I don't know why that one piece is, is really shiny. The rest of the board and the rest of the pieces don't look all that shiny. I like to have just. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not sure if I just don't have a, like a huge amount of the floor wax on there and it's just not getting knocked back, but it should. But like that piece, you know, there's not a lot of shine to it. And the other pieces in the board, there's a couple little areas I just went back and hit it. So I've been using back and forth the dull coat, the Krylon, and the um, anti-shine by Army's Painter. And it looks like we're getting pretty good results. And I think that's it for now on this board. I'm gonna come back in the next part and we'll do some uh, 
flocking and some tufts of grass. And this board will be done and ready to go. And then I'm gonna probably uh, bring down um, my little forge world or whatever you wanna call landing uh, board, the two by two, the two two by two pieces. And then I have the, um, the city boards I wanna do up there. And we'll probably do a section on that. So it'll be very easy just to put the two, it'll be a four by four by, a four by four section, excuse me. I got so many paint fumes in here, like a little uh, high here. Um, <laughs> And we'll bring that down and get all that together. So we'll have a nice um, modular thing. We can do a 12-foot board if you really wanted to or a really cool 6-foot uh, board that's very modular. We'll have a city section, a industrial landing section or military section. And then we'll have these four um, desert sections that can rotate in and out. And then maybe eventually we'll add some other uh, themes to it. So as usual, thank you for joining me. And we'll see you in the next part. Thanks.